Good. Hi guys. My business is called Greenpeace. My piece of the vegetable. Uh, it's a, it's gonna be a small cafe and, and restaurant with a with an idea I'd like to provide a vegetarian options to to animal meat as well as vegan products. Uh, this is, is thought to be like set up in, in Sydney. Yeah, the idea could be like eventually like to move to another big city in Australia, but the first mo moment will be in, in Sydney. Uh, so yeah, basically the idea is like to like to provide vegetarian uh, alternatives to animal meat and 100% uh, Colombian coffee. So <laughs> about the stakeholders, of course, I divide like in different categories, like the community, that would be like customers, neighbors, uh, suppliers, I will be all the food and vegetable suppliers. Services like cleaning services, security services, technologies, uh, financial uh, stakeholders like banks and credit, credit institutions, and the government, uh, like through the councils, agencies, regulation, regulation agencies, and standard organizations. About the, the potential risk, I identified like around 65 is like potential risks. Most of them are like, very related with the food industry, but other like that could be related with any business. Uh, so I took the, the potential uh, risk related with the food industry, like to analyze my 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 treatment plan. I divided these risks in a strategic risk, operational risk financial, legal, uh, human resources, and miscellaneous risks that are related with technologies and others. And these risks are the ones we are going to see in this table. Basically, as you know, in the register I identify the category, the event, that is basically the risk, cause and consequence, the assessment about likelihood, consequence, and the rating. Most of my risks has a high rating or very high rating. So it was like kind of tricky in the treatment like to identify the, the possible causes and the possible treatment. Um, about the action, most of them have like an avoid action that would consist like try to implement some activities to to prevent the, the risk to, to happen, but in most of the call of the of the event that could happen. So the idea would be in that cases like to to reduce the impact of the risk. And this would be like the plan and the actions of treatment for any risk. Uh, the owner about the owner I, I thought that it would be like just the manager and the method that is like the, the way I would measure the, the treatment plan and of course all of them are open because the business is not working that way. And this is the second part that would be the treatment schedule and plan. Again, I come back to the event, the possible treatment options and then identify the, the preferred treatment option. That it like, would be like the most logical or the one with a highest impact. Mm, some of the risks like go one level down in the in the rating. So for example, the first one about the business strategy, it was a, a risk with a high rating. And the idea after implementing some activities would be like have a tolerable risk. And part of the cause and benefit analysis, most of them, the cause would be like about money, not a lot of them. 
in all the areas, like for example, supply, the, the cost will be like a high demand, a high demand of suppliers. That means that I will have like to come with many suppliers for the same product. And the analysis, the benefit will be like uh, reduced likelihood, likelihood or losing profit. Uh, again, the responsible would be manager, and the timetable. I came back to the like to the way that I could measure these actions in time. It would be like semi-annually, annually, like three, four months. That would be the monitoring. Again, the activity that would implement to monitor or to keep tracking the the impact of the activities, of the treatment, and the legislation of governance requirements. Uh, for some reasons, it's like a high number of, of requirements, like for example, these two, that is related with the fire, the risk of a fire in the business, or this one that is the risk of uh, food poisoning. So I have to go back to the food to the standard, the safety prices, uh, practices and other kind of standards, for example, the Australian quality management systems that identify some treatment activities for this kind of risk. And this is like related about the, the treatment activities. I identify some weaknesses, like for example, the cost. Most of my activities could be related like to like to get some insurance, but normally these kind of insurance have like a high cost. So I identify that, for example, I could get a, I need to set up a, like a wide budget for these kind of activities. So it would be like to set up, a, identify a budget just for the risk treatment. I think it would be important in the management plan to, to identify a, a budget just for the treatment plan. Uh, another weakness that I identify is that it's not possible to identify all the possible risks. It's, it's impossible. So part of the budget for the, for the treatment plan, it has to, to have a, another part where you like, kind of have like, enough money to, to cover the other risks that you can identify. Uh, this is basically Thank you.